Daddy, there's a big old mouse under there. Well, get it. Dad, there's a big mouse. On. I think I think there's something on the other side. I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> Me? I'm pretty good. I have finally reached RV base camp. Uh, Wanted to get here before the elections, um, get all of those file folders, and I don't want to call it junk. Let's say it's stuff I didn't use every day uh, out of my RV. As you all know, if you follow my channel, I went to Montrose, cleaned out a storage building, a storage locker unit, threw it in the RV, and been heading south ever since. I had a good trip. Colorado was a lot of fun. It was up there, what, two months? Well, now, I'm back at the purple tiny house. And there she is. Only thing left to do here is I never, had, I never did put the underpinning underneath the building. And I never put the gutters up. However, I've got everything here to do it. The babies have uh, really, really liked being back home. Yeah, there, there's all kind of places to hunt. We got a good uh, lumber pile. It's, uh, it's like old, old barn wood from the 1800s. And, and the mousies, they really like to hunt. They like to stay there and we like to hunt. Yeah, and, and I got to see my friend. <laughs> and, 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 and I got to play around the wood pile yeah, I was kind of worried about y'all yesterday, Martini. All that lumber, all those uh, pieces of wood and stuff rolling up under your feet. Y'all want to get out? Come on. Yum. Got a touch of wind here. I want to thank Roy for my sign. I met Roy in Durango. He made me two signs. Yep, home sweet home. It smells, I, I, it, the, the pine just smells incredible. I was kind of worried that when I got back that maybe the wood hadn't dried out good enough and that possibly me shutting this building up, it might mildew, but I got a nose for mildew and there, there's no mildew. Kind of wished I'd have brought my Berkey with me, but uh, didn't have any good where, any good place to put it. I'm gonna leave my new kettle, my uh, tricolor kettle here instead of the RV. I don't need two of them, and I hadn't been able to make this thing flip over right. It's like it, wanna, it wants to bend here, so it may just be more decoration. Kind of wished I'd have bought the stock pot so I could heat water faster for my my bird baths. And uh, I forgot my induction cooktop. And that thing's nice. It came with this came with this skillet. But uh, yeah, it's it's nice to be back home. Had a few packages come in. Ordered some more. Uh, lithium ion batteries for my dewalt chainsaw We've got two six amps for 50 bucks so i have three of those now and two of these horrible dewalt batteries but i think hand in front of the camera kevin i think we've had a family of chipmunks moving to my wood pile and these babies scare me to death playing on it but what do you do 
I mean, I want them to, I want them to play and and have fun and whatnot. They're supposed to be groomed today. I talked to the groomer last night. She says bring them. She'll call me sometime around lunchtime today. And the thing is, we're fixing to have some really cold temperatures here. I'm pretty high up in elevation, and for the next three days, I think they said it's going to be in the teens at night. So you know when I cut these pup, all right, I'll give you some privacy. You know when I cut these puppies' hair, I cut them really, really short, almost. I call it the military cut, and uh, they're going to be cold, but I got to get it done. Let's have to wear some clothes for a minute. Why you need so many batteries to run the chainsaw? Well, Tucker, I got more than the chainsaw. I got a drill and a circular saw, and I got a, a new air compressor that I got that runs off a 20-volt DeWalt battery. I can't remember if I've showed this or not, but this, I believe this will pump up to 150 PSI. No, 160. DeWalt batteries suck. Their products are good. Their tools, their batteries are not. So, um, I guess it's easier to set it back like this. I can blow up like uh, inflatable mattresses and if uh let's try that again. I can blow up inflatable mattresses. It's strong enough to uh, inflate the tires on this Gypsy. I had those at 90 pounds, 95, and I bumped them up to 100 pounds all the way around. They max out at 110. They are a Soliet. What's the name of the brand? They are Saloons. And uh, I, I never. Saloon. It's my first experience I've ever had with these tires. I think they're made in Thailand, Taiwan. They're not made in China. But they were put on right like a year before I bought the RV. And I've got good service out of them. Ooh, I can't believe this wind. That cold weather's coming in. It's, it's kind of comfortable right now, but... Cold weather pushing this wind getting here. But anyway, if my battery don't work, I got an, a long extension cord to plug it to the cigarette lighter. Let's go inside. So, uh, I got it off Home Depot online and picked it up. My buddy Roy picked it up for me right outside Durango. I think it was 80 or $90. Nah, uh, can't do that one-handed. But, uh, yeah. Use that 20... 20 volt battery and it's got a flashlight somewhere I gotta learn to use it there we go so let that last a long time and it doesn't take up any room <clears throat> so you set it the pressure you want and hit the button I'll do a review on it when I learn how to use it Martini we left a we left the door open for just a minute yesterday and the tiny house purple tiny house is filled up with leaves still got to hook up my propane heater and this beautiful little G stove I gotta plumb it through the wall give a shout out to the guys that build this thing high quality stuff I can't wait to use my little oven here make me some biscuits
I was going to use Hungry Jack biscuits, and everybody said, oh, you got to get the Walmart frozen biscuits. And I've had those in the past. I was like, you know what? You're right. So, but a day's, day's worth of hard work, get it all done. You like being back down to hunt all the, the chipmunks, Martini? I'm licking my foot. You're so precious. It's always something, isn't it? Pick up. I got a new microphone for my phone. But I hadn't hooked it up yet. So yesterday the babies were back down in their hunting grounds. And we got a, a cedar wall with rocks underneath. And there was Yorkies on each side thinking that the other Yorkies were the mouse. <laughs> it was a lot of fun to watch. Daddy, there's a big old mouse under there. We'll get it. Dad, there's a big mouse. On, wait. I think I think there's something on the other side. I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> could it could it be Tucker that you hear, baby May May? No, it's a big mouse. What do you hear, Tucker? You hear baby May May? No, no, it's it's, it's a, oh, oh, she bit my ear. <laughs> no, it's a big old mouse. Okay. We'll run with that. Get out of there, you big old mouse. Your breath smells horrible. I brush my teeth. So uh, my friend that lives here, he's pretty good with an air conditioner on vehicles. He used to own uh, restoration shops, a restoration shop where they rebuilt Mustangs and Chevelles and all that. So he's got a good bit of experience with air conditioners. He says, let me, let's see what we can do with yours, Kevin. As you know, when I left two months ago, it would only get down to 60 degrees. And he has a theory that, see this valve right here? This wire is controlled in my dash and it cuts off and opens the heater core. He says, Kevin, he said, I think that this valve right here was letting hot uh, water go to the heater core and the fan brought it through the vents which would not allow the RV to cool. So yesterday he went and picked up a valve. And we're gonna put a, a valve in here to where I can manually cut off any and all uh, hot coolant, engine coolant from uh, getting to the heater core and warming up my air. He thinks that I may have overcharged it when I was putting uh, coolant in, when I was putting refrigerant in, trying to fix it myself. He says, I think you overcharged it, which is just as bad as undercharging it. So we're going to work on it today, but I'm not sure how far we're going to get. But if this doesn't fix it, then I may have to go full redneck on this gypsy for, for air. There's just no way I can drive this thing. If it's over 80 degrees outside, 85, it's, it's complete misery inside of there. I have yet to crank up the Wolf Wolf Wagon. My friend here, he said he cranked it two or three times in the last two months. He said, but it's been several weeks since he cranked it last. I'm going to pop the hood up on it today, check for mice, nest, whatever take these babies to the groomer take my trash off the little I got I've missed this thing but honestly I'm glad I didn't tow it there would have been a lot of places that I couldn't have parked easily with it I'd have had to unhook it a dozen times and hook it back up and that's just no fun for me the motorcycle on the back that worked really, really well.
Okay, Tucker. Your groomer just called me. Said, bring the babies. Man, listen and stuff. Uh, my my hair is not that long. Tucker. No. <laughs> you can't get close. I can't film you. You you, you kind of look like the Shaggy DA. You've told me that before, but I don't know what that means. It was a crime-fighting dog back in the 70s, Tucker. That was like 100 years ago and stuff. Well, I think it came on right before or after Herbie, the Volkswagen bug. What you scratching at? Well, I don't have fleas. I don't have them. I promise. Okay. Well, it's time to take you to you. Time to take you to the groomer. Tucker's going to get a bath. Baby May May's going to get a bath. Oh no! Martini, you're going to get a bath. Uh uh. I don't need no bath. I don't need no haircut. We got a real good lady here that's going to do it. So. Everybody will look different next time you see them. <laughs> it's good being home at the Purple Tiny House. I had a good trip. May not have had such a good ending getting here, but I'm glad I went. But, uh, yeah. So I'll let you know how the air conditioning went and the dogs cuts went and all that in the next video. This one's already too long. But jibber jabbering. Uh, I may not stay right at the, the purple tiny house the whole time. I may camp around, but close by, uh, and just bounce back and forth. Uh, then I gotta, once I see how the election goes and the economy goes, then I'll make some travel plans. But that's gonna make this video, so I'm gonna end it right here I appreciate each and every one of you thank you guys so much for watching my videos hey we'll see you again soon you guys take care bye bye